But so first topic of the show, uh, we've been talking and we've had a lot of people get back to us about like some comic book collecting topics and, and helping people out that might not, you know, know all this stuff. People that are new to the game will be throwing out all kinds of info. We'll try and hit a, a topic once a week. Um, but uh, our, our first topic for the uh, collecting topic of the week is mylars and boards. Um, basically bags and boards, but of a much higher quality um, that you want to uh, put your better books in at least. Um, and trust me, you might not think you need them, but once you put them in there and you see how good they look uh, in these uh, mylars, you'll, you'll want to do it. But um, one of the things that uh, I was able to do is I was able to pull out uh, a couple. Th these are what I use. I use um, the MyLite 2s from eGerber Mylars and the full back backing boards. And basically what they are, full back backing boards are just like really thick, uh, super heavyweight backing boards that you don't have to worry about changing every five years like you should with regular bags and boards. So we have to change them every five years. Yeah. So with Mylars, you don't even have to do that. I mean, most people don't change their bags and boards every five years. They don't ever change them. So, but if you put, so, you're you say that you should change your you recommend changing your bags and boards every five years. I don't I don't recommend it because I say why do that? Why don't you just buy Mylars and put put them in Mylars? I mean, at least you're good books. But that's that's what most comic collecting uh, um, advice is: is you need to change your bags and boards because they get old. Have you ever gone through like, like a collection and the bags and boards are so old that they're literally sticking to each other? Yeah. So they're they're kind of degrading. They're falling apart. Mylar's won't do that. Um, well, how I'll, much uh, would like proper storage, like in a in a like room temperature room in a bag in a long or short box, and kind of a darker, more cooler no, no, place? Proper, how much would that pro affect that? Yeah, proper storage for comics is is common sense in my opinion right you've got you live in arizona it's 120 degrees don't fucking put your comics in the in the garage you know what i mean um you live somewhere where there's a lot of flooding don't put your comics in the basement if you don't have a pump or you know what i mean like just be smart about it um anything is gonna go bad when you uh put it to the elements you don't want to put comics no matter what type of bag of board they're in in the sun uh they're gonna fade um that's just with anything. So I think that that's kind of common sense. Uh, put your your comics where they're safe. And so how, much, how much thicker is the uh, Mylar boards than the normal, like, BCW so, boards? So so the fullbacks are, are, let's see here if it says here, uh, 42 mil, mil, mil thick cardboard. So what is that? That's what's 42 mils. I guess that's, like... I can't. It's too hard to show on here. I have a link that I'm going to put out here at the end, um, and uh, we'll put in the show notes. And you know, get so the place where I learned about these these mylars. You can see them. Um, you can see they're they're really nice. Um, they're almost. I like the fullbacks because they're almost like um, the top loaders. They they've got a lot of, you know, you can kind of. They're more dense. They're sturdy. Yeah. You don't have to worry about, you know, bending them or anything. And they just look really clear. They make the book really pop. If you're going to, you know, we've been uh, proponents of putting books out so you can enjoy them. Put them on the wall if you like the cover, you know, and this is a perfect thing to do. You can buy cool, uh, you know, a comic book frame, throw them in nice mylars, throw them in the comic book frame. Um, but, but collecting tip, buying tip, I would say with that is, if the person selling you the book is selling the mylar more than the book, and how the book looks in the mylar, and 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 pushing up the grade because of the way it looks in the mylar, it's a red flag to take it out and look at it before you buy it. Oh yeah, because, of course. Oh, I'm just saying. I'm just putting yeah. it out there. Just no, you know, yeah, yeah. So, somebody in Kyle's audience like that tip. Someone in Kyle's yeah. audience loved that tip. He had to laugh at it. Uh. <laughs> Kyle, you didn't um, know Kyle performs in front of a studio audience every weekend. Yeah. Um. So, what? Uh, I'll, I'll share. I'll share this real quick here. Let well, me go real ahead quick before you go on, do you have um, just a normal 
bag and board that you would buy from the comic shop versus your thick yes, bags that you can show so, people the the difference? I buy. I don't have any here, and you're not going to see the difference here. It's just too small. Um, but I have a link that I'm going to post, and I'm going to show you guys real quick. And it shows all all bags that you got different size bags and boards, right? And the same with Mylar's. And yeah, it, the only problem with Mylar's that is tough at first is you have to figure out what size bags and boards you need. Because with Mylar's, you have to buy a board that's a certain size and a bag that's a certain size. For example, everything that I put in my like normal modern books, I put in um, 725M2 Mylar's. And then 700 FB, which is for fullback. So you, you're doing the 725 bag, that's the size, and 700 boards. So you're making the board just a little bit smaller. And uh, the link I have, once you go to this link, you'll see what each bag and board looks like with a comic in it. And it's cool because what he does is he shows a modern book in all the Mylars and boards. A uh, Golden Age book in all the Mylars and boards. Magazine, you know, so you can see. And the 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 links that he gives on how to get them and this was one of the best tips that i ever had um in the last 10 years in the comic community was this link i i it's in my favorites for comics i go to it once a year whenever i got or once every two years whenever i gotta buy mylars i buy mylars i just buy them in bulk um i buy a thousand ba uh, mylar bags and a thousand boards and i think it's like 300 bucks and that that can last that lasts me usually two years or more um and otherwise it's quite a bit more but you spent three hundred dollars so on it, bags and boards yeah i mean you're putting Jeez. you're putting you're putting books in there that are worth 10 times that that's true why yeah why you know and and you're only buying bags and boards once for two or three years I, I go through a lot of bags and boards. Imagine somebody that goes through half of that. You know what I mean? You can just buy enough bags and boards for your whole thing. Um, we were talking about Chuck earlier, and Chuck Chuck started collecting comics recently, and he's putting together a nice collection. And he recently it, you know, had to buy a bunch of bags and boards for his collection. And he literally went, he, he said, okay, where are you buying your bags and boards? I told him, he went, he bought a thousand bags and boards. He's gonna have to buy more because his collection's over a thousand books. So. If you're, you know what I mean? You got to think what, what these bags and boards are doing and how important they are, especially for good books. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, but let me go ahead and uh, Kyle, if you want to throw anything in there, I'm going to uh, bring up this, this uh, page real quick and share it. And then once you're done, we can. And another good way to seal up the Mylars is the painter's tape. So yes. get away, get away from using scotch tape and get more into the painter's tape because the painter's tape is made to peel off. So if it happens to get stuck on the book, you're, it's not going to rip. It's not going to tear. It's not going to leave any residue. It's, uh, yes. Yeah. And it's so, easier to reseal. So you would suggest painter's tape over even like self adhesive. Uh, yes, bags I always, so if you guys can see, let me go ahead and stop sharing. Ooh, that's here. a good book. I have a couple of those. So I'm going to stop sharing real quick and then I'll go back. But um, if you guys can see this, this is um, this right here is how I use my all my uh, mylars. I put a, a painter's tape on the back. And if it's a PC book, I'll put what the book is. Like this one says, Second Venom Appearance McFarlane, right? Because this is like the second cover appearance of Venom. And this is a, this is a hot book right now because, and, and I just went and pulled out all my copies and I put painter's tape on the back. I don't like self adhesive on these types of books just because like Kyle said, it's so much easier with painter's tape. You never have to worry about painter's tape. I've literally put painter's tape on accident right on a cover and you can pull it off and not, and slow enough and not to have any issues. You're not going to do that with anything else, you know, if you make a mistake. So, but um, here we go. Let me screen share one more time. You even get... you even put labels on the back of your tape, huh? Uh, sometimes depends on the book. If it's a good book, yeah. Um, here's the link. It's actually uh, the CGC board forums. Um, so CGC, obviously the biggest grader in the biz. Do you want to put they... it in chat, Brian, so people can look yeah. at it? Yeah, yeah, I'll put it in chat. Um, but. This is the guide, and you can see here he's got Sandman number one, one of the biggest modern books, um, and he shows, like this one right here is in 
uh, uh, the 700 M2s. This is the book ones that I have. I like to have a little white on my boards. I don't like them right on the edge. I think that you're better, you're better off having a little bit of space. And it depends on how much space you want. You can go all the way to the super gold and go crazy. I don't like that. I like these right here for my moderns, which is the uh, 725 M2 Mylars with the 700 fullbacks. And then for my Silver Age, um, I'll even I can even stick some Silver Age in those that and they fit nice. If they don't, I'll go to the silver and gold ones. And then I I bought a few Golden Age because I don't have very many Golden Age books. Most of them, uh, I bought a few just to um, help Chuck out and put some of his really nice Golden Age books in some. But you can see how nice the Golden Age books and you know they look in them. So um, let me go ahead. I'll stop sharing one more time and uh, put this up in chat. I think I think that's another big takeaway as a collector starting out to take away is that not there are different sizes of bags and boards. So, you know, you you want to make sure you're you're watching what you're putting your your book in because moderns are smaller than gold and silver and you know, there there's there's different sizes bags and boards for that reason. So, pay attention to what you're putting them in and there's also magazine boards. I know a lot of people like their modern books in silver I do. Bags and boards. I hate that. I think it looks sloppy. Personally, I think it looks sloppy when there's so much room for them to just slide around and like potentially maybe on the off chance catch damage. I, I, I don't know. I like that nice tight fit. Like I like like here, I don't know if let me present. Well, I don't let me present here real quick. Cause I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference here. Um, but like Walking Dead, uh, I, I just have it sitting right here. 193 just came out this week, and it's kind of an oversized issue. And they put it in a gold and silver age book or bag. So you see how it's kind of there's that extra space versus like Uncanny X Men 21 that's in the correct bag and board. There's not all that extra space, so your yep. comic isn't like sliding around and stuff. Like, I don't want my books to be sliding around, I, I like them to be nice and, and tight in the and the bagging board that's that's just my personal preference yeah it's but see the crazy thing with these with these with the um the mylar books is that they they kind of keep the uh, the the bat the comic centered more and it actually kind of if you can see i this book has been in here for you know, a couple of years now and it's centered really nice it doesn't move around you know i can kind of i mean you can make it move around if you kind of hit it and stuff but mm -hmm. You know, I'm just kind of shaking it around here, and it doesn't really move around. So the mylars kind of hold the book a little bit better, and you'll even feel that when you're putting them in. So that's that's another good thing about mylars. I think books look good like this. Yes. Nice and graded. Yes. You know, I don't I like to get them graded anymore, but I think they look so nice. Vacuum sealed and encapsulated. And that's a that, different style, though. 